The propagation of the coronavirus COVID-19 and the consequent preventive measures and restrictions have had an impact on the global economy. HEC Paris Professor Tomasz Mikalski zooms in on the effects of this pandemic on individual firms and the overall preservation of economic networks. I would like to draw attention to what is missed by a lot of commentary about the effects of the virus and the combat against it. One is going to be the foregone demand that will hit airlines, the tourism industry, transport, etc. But another closely related and very important problem is individual firm liquidity and the preservation of the economic networks. Each normally healthy firm is a precious part of an economic tissue that, if gone, induces large losses on other parts of the economy, workers and their families, local communities and the state as a whole. The scale of this crisis in the real economy, even if short-lived, will work largely through production and sales networks, forced stoppages because of shutdown, lower worker productivity, lack of supplies, make it at the end difficult to make different payments, wages to employees, to pay suppliers, rent or taxes. Each firm regularly uses trade credit, either granting it or receiving it. If firms are unable to meet their obligations because their accounts receivable will not be paid, where is that many firms will go bankrupt? Banks may be unwilling to provide working capital to firms, even if monetary authorities uh, pump massive liquidity to the banking system. Fiscal policy, for example, allowed by lifting temporarily the European Stability Pact to which many countries including Germany, seem to agree, uh, is a blunt instrument even though it helps somewhat. What blurs the picture is that different firms are going to be hit in a heterogeneous manner, so aiding them individually will be difficult. The closest help is as of yet what was suggested by France, a deferral of taxes enhancing firm liquidity and paying temporarily furloughed workers to allow them to survive for a difficult period, and sustain global demand. But we should do more to assist the enterprises that would be in good shape in normal times, as measured by uh, financial indicators before the crisis arrived, and will be now in need. For example, there could be some funding of working capital by work government banks to firms that had a sound financial situation as of the end of 2019.